you guys want this video summed up in one word gross incarnate genesis weapons are coming in full force and not holding anyone hostage in its path well maybe all of the other weapons that we could select from latron was available this week and honestly i didn't even give it a second four i automatically defaulted to one in strut incarnate and can you blame me for that i debated all of the others well with that thinking i was proven wrong and now all of a sudden, everybody is a Latron main. And honestly, I cannot blame them. I mean, look at it. Disgusting. All right, all right. Enough talking. Let's just get straight into it. Where do you get the weapon? Deviri Paradox Circuit. This is the game mode on the left. You will need to be on the steel path version of this. And every week you can select from two out of five rotating incarnate weapons to choose from. This week, Latron Incarnate is available as a choice. Grab it before it rotates. What evolutions should you take? So evolution one, this is set. You do not need to worry about this. It just allows you to evolve the weapon during combat. Evolution two, the choice is between extra multi-shot on puncture status effect or a small flat damage increase of six, but scaling direct damage per status type affecting the enemy by 30% if you have over 1.2 sprint speed or more. Honestly, guys, multi-shot is usually the best in slot as an option. So we're basically going to go with this. Evolution 3, more control for your weapon when shot, magazine increase, but only to the base version, not the evolved version, or less ADS zoom. Well, this thing at its current state isn't really moving when shot during its evolved state, so you don't really need recoil, and unfortunately, we would want that magazine to affect the evolved state of the weapon, but it doesn't. So at least for me, I'm going to go with the less zoom, but on this option, you could take what you want. And then finally, evolution four. You can remove 20% of enemy armor per puncture status proc, a 100% increase to your headshot multiplier, or increase your base critical chance by adding an extra 24% and a critical damage increase of extra 20%. So I do actually like the first option here for the armor strip. But for this video, we're not actually going to take that just yet. Do not roll this option out, however. It can be good quality of life. I need to play around with it more for future builds. But for now, we're going to focus with the last option and we're going to hit like an absolute truck. So you might be asking, what does the evolved weapon look like when it shoots? This AoE, no recoil, big boom, things gone, Zara and Ogre sweep. All right, jokes aside, even more importantly, when you shoot in its evolved state, it's like a lasting missile. And in tight corridors, this thing is devastating. The weapon loves indoor tile sets. Okay then, so let's go ahead and see that build. Scaling damage arcane to increase base damage. If you don't have this, please go and use the serration mod somewhere that you can fit into the build. Scaling multi-shot from the galvanized chamber. This just adds more boom to the equation. Why not? Critical chance and critical damage mods for an even more powerful boom than what you was currently doing. Hunter munitions to scale off those crit mods for more boom, but with a little slashing pizzazz. Viral combination because of the slashing pizzazz can scale if things don't die to one shot. Prime Bane mod because slash can double dip so you can get a two for one type deal per proc. Prime Firestorm because as you saw it is an explosive so more blast radius means more better AoE. And then as for the Exilus slot, I went with Cautious Shot to go ahead and wrap off the build just in case you're not using Prime Sure Footage. So we go ahead and pair all of that together. Let's go and see this most skillful gameplay and prepare yourselves. Yeah, just like that. Everything is falling over. Yeah, I can literally not blame anyone for not wanting this gun. It's gross. It's easy to handle with no recoil. It has a scaling build and it's got really good AOE control. So you can even make this stronger if you paired this bad boy with any Warframe that can group enemies, debuff or armor strip, or even boost weapon damage like Eclipse or Zarthus Whisper. And again, this weapon just hits even further off the chart if you do that. So I ask, is this going to be part of the new meta moving forwards? Personally, I think so. But what do you think? And also on top of that, did any of you guys take any of the other incarnate options available this week? If so, how did you find those choices? I'm really enjoying the addition of these new Incarnate Genesis weapons. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what other sleeper builds are waiting for us in the next few weeks. But I'm going to keep this video nice and short and sweet to the point. So if you guys want me to go and cover more of these videos, hit that like button. 
if you are new to the channel subscribe and as always guys i will see you again in the next video